Okay. All that right. Was, yes. That was a clean intro. Dude, we, we're good at this now, you know? Dude, it's we're almost good, like we've been finally... doing this for over a year. Yeah. <laughs> we finally figured it out. I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready to go to regionals. Oh, shit. Podcast regionals, bro. <laughs> Dude, okay. we, we've been do, playing for years. It. We've got the team. <laughs> we're going to regionals. <laughs> I can see that these guys are podcast regionals. I'm afraid they've got the little rookie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, that's the thing when you're oh, no, like they're watching Joe Rogan. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bug! <laughs> Joe Rogan just Dude. starts talking about aliens and shit. I'm not saying the moon landing was fake, but it could be. Dude, can we make a podcast anime where it's just about two dudes who make a podcast, but then they make it to podcast regionals and it's just a bunch of people from podcasts <laughs> in like a school fucking gymnasium <laughs> sat at little table yeah. podcasting it out. You just see a giant crowd being just like, I wonder what they're going to talk about now. Oh no, they're all going to Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh, I knew it. Oh no. What, what can He's we about- talk about? He's about to use his Squarespace special move. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Not award-winning templates. <laughs> <laughs> not, only, not only that, it's just like, um, what's it called? It's fucking, uh, you have your boy there as well. Oh God, who's your boy? Um, oh no, why am I drawing a blank? <laughs> I can't remember people's we names. the episode? <laughs> I... Oh no, we didn't. But like, I guess so. Hi, everybody! Hello. Welcome back. We we were. Uh, this is welcome back to the episode of the podcast that you are listening to right welcome now. To episode we are back again of the boy. Forty nine. It's been a. It's been a little while. We took a little bit of a break. Been well, we didn't take a little bit of a break. I was just lazy, and I told Scott, "Hey, I'm not fucking doing the podcast anymore." And he looked at me, and he was just like, "You're doing the fucking and podcast." He stormed out, but I I chased him. I was like, baby, he I did. can change. I can change. <laughs> Please he come grabbed back. me by the hand. And he was just like, no, not today. You can't do this. No, you can't leave. Who will be my podcast host now? And I was just, and I like looked back to him and said, why don't you go ask Joe Rogan for help? <laughs> 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 so yeah, uh, we're back. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Hey, everybody. We're the back podcast. again. Episode 49. Uh, so Scott, what have you been getting up to recently? Well, I have been doing crazy shit. So I was gonna, gonna say go a lot's it. happened since the last podcast. In Has our there? Worlds, not not really? like anything of major importance. Just <laughs> nothing of major note, but a lot has happened. You gotta yeah. admit. Well, personally, so, uh, me and Joe have decided to set ourselves the goal of getting every Halo Master Chief Collection achievement on PC. And I don't know how you guys can away. do that. <laughs> I just, I, like, I, you see, the thing is though with, like, Xbox achievements and stuff like that, it's, it looks so tedious. <laughs> well, it depends on the game, really, because if it's a game I'm, like, super, like, a, a game I'm passionate super into it, guess, and passionate, yeah. yeah, I'll happily whittle away at it, especially yeah, with yeah. Halo, because Halo's been, like, my favourite shooter since the beginning of time, so... I'm Since more than happy to time. constantly play it yeah, and yeah. do these things and learn. Because I've learned so much about Halo 1. Because we're only. Because each, each game has its own achievement to beat it in under three hours. Yep. So we're currently doing Halo 1, which we've. If we just played through the game now, we would beat it in under three hours. Because we've. Because okay. you, you do it based on time on each individual level. So you don't have to do it in three hours in one run. You can do it ah, level okay. by level, and so we've been learning like glitches and speedrunning strats for each <laughs> level. Like there's one on attack on the control room where you get through the first little building, and then when you come out to the end, there's a bridge with a banshee that attacks you. But somehow someone found out that if you stand stand in a certain spot, look at the ba- banshee, crouch at a certain time, turn around, look at a certain part of a wall, wait for the banshee to hit that, then run forward. Then follow the Banshee along, Event- like, the elite in the Banshee just falls out, you can get in the Banshee and fly to the end of the level. <laughs> That's... <laughs> and it doesn't That's spawn sad. any enemies, so you can do the, you can do a mission that's meant to take you. It says part-time 20 minutes, but it's hard to beat in 20 minutes on Legendary just normally. So a, a level that would normally take you about 40-50 minutes played normally, we can get done in like less than 5 minutes. 
So I want to say, before we jump into this whole situation, who the fuck figured that out? Right. That- who went? Who went out of their way to stand in this specific spot for I don't know how how much amount of time, and to figure out this speed running strap? Well, this right? this one I can kind of understand because you can manipulate the banshee's movements with your like with your play like with your character just cuz wherever you move the banshee will try and follow in a certain way so i understand that okay and like obviously you know in halo that if you get a oh, vehicle upside down or do this you fall out so i know like this one i can understand there's a okay. few others where i'm just like bro how did you figure this out did you ever watch um ADG, ADGQ? I watch oh, it all the time. I fucking yeah. love that shit. Did you ever shit. see the glitch runs on those games? Mm. Just to watch them, and then these guys are just being it's like, okay, so here's the out of map. Um, skip. Um, I'm going to go out here, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do a little flip here, and he's done it. And that's it. <laughs> there, that's it. it. <laughs> there it is. I feel, I feel like we talked about AG, ADGQ well, so much on the channel. It's been a but thing, like, it's been a thing in my Discord for a while as well, like speedrunning. Because I was speedrunning, I talked about it a while ago, I was speedrunning Resident Evil 3 quite a bit. Yeah, and I then, watched you do that. I yeah. watched you do that, and I have to say, like, no matter when I was watching you do that, it made me go just like, wow, this game is, like, really easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it is. And that's why it was fun to speedrun, because you can just power through it in, like, less than an hour if you know the route. But, yeah. um, yeah, like, it's been a thing, so whenever we're playing games and we pull off something stupid or just like go here we go i'm gonna do a skip and all you do is just die and you go and there it is <laughs> <laughs> it's just been a joke in and then um, like another thing we've been doing is like whenever we fuck up um or we pull something off we claim it's optimal so whenever we fuck something up me and joe are just like it's not optimal restart we go again <laughs> 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 it's just been super funny but um speaking of ad blah 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 Awesome games done quick. Or blah, 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 blah. Uh, I watched one of those like last week, and it was a guy who Did beat you? Um, every Fallout game except 76. So uh, Fallout 1, 2, 3, New Vegas, and 4 in like two and a half hours. Well, actually, I can see that. I can see that. Okay, so they, their type of games, those in particular games, are li- there's literally you can just walk to the ending. No. Yeah, no. No? No. On Fallout 1 and 2, you can. So one, yeah, Fallout 1 and 2 you can. Yeah. But you have to do quite a lot of glitches, which he shows, which are just dead simple ones because the game was so old, they didn't code it right, and you can just... <laughs> they didn't when you go into it. a battle, if you spam, I think he said W, that essentially means you go first and they never get a turn if you just keep spamming W at the end of your turn in a combat because it's turn-based. So oh, you can man. just do combat and then just run away. But um, with the other games, like they got a bit sneakier with Fallout free new vegas and four basically there needs to be triggers to get to the final like level so with okay well free was a bit easier he just glitched through the wall and entered the detonation <laughs> to blow up As you do. As to blow you do, up the yeah. final uh, thing but f- uh new vegas and four were just so in new vegas he turns into an airplane and flies across the map hitting what? all these different checkpoints and stuff and then in um, Fallout 4, he just puts on six pe- six extra pair of pants and then turns into Sonic the Hedgehog and runs around. And I don't... Uh, it It's definitely worth a watch. If you've got, like, two hours where you're, like, playing games or you're lying in bed, you know, you got nothing else to do other than watch Fantastic Boys on Internet content and you're up to date. <laughs> um, go watch the Fallout, F- Fallout Anthology by... Uh, oh, tom- Tomato White... Tomato Anus, I think his name is. <laughs> but on him, on, okay. on a, a GDC or GDQ, whatever it's called, he's not allowed to say Anus, so he says his name's Tomato Agnes, but the G's silent. <laughs> 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 the dude's super funny. Like when he's putting on the extra pair of pants because he has to do a glitch involving a door and shit. Every time he gets it right, he just pulls a pair of pants out and gives it to one of the guy, one the same guy who's on the couch behind him, and just makes him put on <laughs> six pairs of pants throughout the run. And it's it's super fun to watch. Genuinely, I recommend it. Dude, what's your opinion on which is more entertaining to watch, glitchless or glitch run? No, glitch runs, hundred percent. You think so? 
Okay, yeah. so Personally, I, I have a weird thing. Well, I think more glitchless but... is more impressive. It's more the impressive. The glitch runs are so, like, interesting to yeah. watch. Yeah, 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 100%. Because, like, you watch... You, when you watch a glitchless, it's just pure precision. You know, it's yeah. pure planning. It's pure just perfect execution. Whereas the glitched, one, the glitched ones are just fun. Because it's like, how the fuck did they learn on like Skyrim if you hold a wooden bowl underneath you and then jump into a very specific <laughs> of the corner you can pop out the map and then run to like you know stuff like yeah, it's yeah. just fun it's like what the fuck and then you go in and try it on your own and you're like holy shit it works it's real because that's <laughs> that's essentially what me and Joe have been doing on um Halo because there's there's a few levels like that one I mentioned with the Banshee there's there's two glitches on one called on a ma- on the level keys where you um stand on top of an energy shield and then it pings you up into the ceiling of the map, and then you jump across into the mm. last level of the, like, l- last area of the level. Because on the map keys, you spawn on this blown-up ship, and you have to get off the ship into the sewers. Not sewers, the swamp. You go through the swamp, back onto the ship, and then find keys. Whereas on this one, you can just glitch through the wall to keys. Mm-hmm. Whereas you can do it on the energy shield. Or there's another one with a flood bump, where you use the flood to glitch you through a wall, and I'm... It's... What it's the silly. Hell? And it, this is um this is Halo One, right? Halo One, yeah. But it's Never also just Halo as 1. bad in Halo Two. So that one, I'm we're really scared of. We're really scared. Halo Two was my first Halo, man. Like I, I, I always wanted to play Halo One, and I guess I can now because I own the Master Chief Collection, whatever. But I just have never gone back to play it. You, you said before that Halo One was your favorite Halo, right? Wait, sorry. You said before Halo 1 was your favorite Halo, right? No, not Halo 1. No? No, my favorite Halo is Halo 3. Really? Okay. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I, 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 I'm here to agree. Because Halo 3 was my first um, multiplayer experience in terms of Xbox. Yeah. Xbox multiplayer experience. I was playing online for ages on Unreal tournaments and like stuff like that on the Quake PC. And shit, right? yeah. Yeah, Quake and stuff like that. Uh, remember when you had to download the patch, the patches, and specifically put them in specific folders? That's and the thing. I, I wasn't a PC and all gamer. All of the patches, all of the patches while. were made by fucking the fans and not by the developers. And you'd be <laughs> just like, "Damn, these games really are ours." And then, you'd, and then later on, they were just like, "Damn." Nah, okay. That's the thing. I but, wasn't. A, I wasn't a PC gamer till like I think Battlefield Four came out. That was the first PC game I played. Really? Like that was when Battlefield I became Battlefield 4. Yeah, that's when I became a PC gamer. Like I was I played PC games, but it was on my shitty laptop where all, all I could play was like World of Warcraft and barely could run that. and shit. <laughs> and then I had um I had a a PC where I played like CS:GO at 720p 30 fps and yeah. stuff like that, but I wasn't I wouldn't have classed myself as a PC gamer cuz I was still I still had my Xbox that I played most about like 80% of my games on. Yeah, and then it was when, like, around the time Battlefield Four came out, that I actually bought my first game in PC, which was a beast and could run Battlefield at like max graphics, 1080p, and it was like, oh, dude, that's but, mad. Because like, my first, yeah. my first experience, my first like prop like experience, I would say, was my dad putting me on his lap on the PlayStation One. But my pre- my first like conscious experience that I'm playing video games. Was when I was like six years of age, uh, six years of age, like playing the original Age of Empires on the PC. Oh yeah, that was kind of like my first point in time where that's when I knew it was a downward spiral from here. You know what I mean? Like I was becoming a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you were um, born for greatness. I was, <laughs> dude. Because that's the thing. Because I, I don't know if you used to do this as well, but I used to, um, like, when I was extremely young, I got into anime and stuff like that very very quickly yeah but funnily enough i got into visual novels 10 times quicker than like than getting into proper anime if that makes sense oh yeah so when i was like 9 10 11 12 that that type of area i was like downloading like visual novels and stuff like that from websites and things like that but you couldn't like you couldn't um they weren't translated so you either had to find a translation that somebody had made on the internet, or you would have like pictures of um, 
you'd go onto these forums and they'd be just like, okay, so this is what this means. <laughs> okay, this is what this means. This is what this means. And everyone would like tell the story in a picture where you didn't even really need to download the game. You could just look at the pictures that they were posting and they were translating. But, you know, yeah. I went the hard way. Because that was probably like one of my proper experiences with PC gaming that made me like kind of like, because I put so much effort into it that it just kind of became a part of my personality. Yeah. <laughs> you know? What about you? What was your, like, personality-driven uh, gaming experience that made it go just like, okay, this is a part of my personality and not, like, a thing that I just do? <laughs> well, it's purely it's just... question, right? Mine was purely just because I was super competitive. Oh. So... Because I had two older brothers, so, and, th- like, they played games. And me being the youngest, I just wanted to be good at games to beat them. Yeah. So then it became this, like, sort of, I want to get good at games. So I played a shit ton of games. So it was just, like, I, because it fir- the first one that made me go, like, fuck yeah, I'm good at games. Because I was better than my brothers at it. It was, like, games like Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Mm-hmm. Where I became better because I, I like my brother Andrew used to be the best on the um guitar. And oh then really? Peter, Peter was the best on the drums on it. And then whenever they weren't in, I was playing both. And then just fucking expert on all of the instruments and just went ham. And then Dude, that's, I remember that's this the time thing when you're like younger, you can like yeah, you sit there and you watch other people like learn the shit. But then you suck it in like a sponge, mm. and then you're just like, bum, 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 do 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 yeah, do do. Yeah, because I remember like my brother, like I was playing it, and then my brother came home with like a friend, his friend, and they wanted to play, and they were like, oh, let's play some. So they both got the guitar, and I was on the drums, and then we played like, I think it was Scream Aim Fire by uh, Bullet of My Valentine, which was like a really hard song on Guitar Hero World Tour, and I beat it on the drums. And my brother's mate was like, what the hell? You're really good at this? And I was only a little kid. <laughs> and my brother was like, yeah. Yep. And I was like, boy. <laughs> Were you a Guitar Hero first moments. or a rock band? Well, was guitar Hero first and then rock yeah. band. And then, you know, I played like, all Guitar Hero was like the first, right? I think. Yeah, Guitar Hero was there, was... there was one before, but Guitar Hero was the one that took off. Because there was one. Yeah. Oh, who? Oh, fuck. It was... was it called like Guitar Star or something? I can't remember what it was called. Guitar Star. I don't think it was called Guitar that Star. I think that's like the really shit. It sounds familiar one. though. It was an arcade game. Arcade. Guitar Hero. Guitar Star. Game. Guitar what was Star. It Let's have a look. Because it was essentially what Guitar Hero was before. Guitar. Was it called Beat Fever? Uh, I don't remember. Konami was Guitar Hero. Beat no, Fever? that's not it. Uh, what the fuck was it called, dude? Beat Fever came out at uh, January tenth, twenty seventeen. That so that's inspired Guitar Hero. <laughs> no Go game on. inspired Guitar Hero because guitar it was freaks. original. Guitar Freaks. It's called Guitar Freaks. Did they have like a guitar as well? Yeah, yeah. It was an arcade game. Like, oh right, it was, right, um... right. Oh, and it apparently had a PlayStation One game as well. But it was yeah, essentially just Guitar Hero, but with only three buttons. And it was like, I see, yeah. it came out first. And then It was kind of like Hero... a drums. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm looking at a different one. No, it did. I think it, because it was, they also had a game called Drum Mania, by the looks of it. Oh. Which was then, you know, it just yeah, became yeah. like Guitar Hero after that. Even though it's not made by the same people. It's, it's like a Japanese made one, I believe. Mm. Who's, it, who's it made by? Konami, yeah. So it was Konami. made by Konami. But Konami still makes all the the uh, the last remaining the like arcade, uh, games now. arcade games, right? Yeah. Did you see? Okay. Speaking of arcade games, did you see that one arcade game that looks really sick? It's like Dance Dance Revolution, but it's like a soft board, and you you like it's like you sh- you like shimmy. Right, you keep your feet on the ground all the time, and you're just doing the Michael Jackson's moonwalk. Oh, is it? Yeah, the yeah. slidey one. Yeah, the slidey one. That looks so fun. I saw it on like I a video of like so people bad. going around Japanese arcades, and there was just some dude fucking tearing shit on it, and you're just like, 
I want to be there. <laughs> Dude, that's the thing, because, like, it's one of the games that actually kind of makes you look really cool. Where Dance Dance Revolution, you still look like a bit of a knob. Yeah. <laughs> you still look like a bit of a knob playing it, especially when you've got your hands on the back of the banister. And you're just like, like when we <laughs> played it at fucking Manchester. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we we play to win. All right, we play Dude, to win. All right, that's all. It is. I miss but the days of arcades. I hate that I, they're not yeah. popular over here anymore. If you go to an arcade, it's just coin machines now. It's not like it's like there's no games yeah. there. You still get the occasional Guitar Hero machine at arcades, but they're always broke. The guitar only strums down and barely even strums at all. The like three of the five buttons work. And it's just like, I miss arcades being actually fun. Because I used to go arcades all the time when I was little. Yeah. And it's... Mm, I, I wonder, it? you know? Like, I wonder, because it's not really... Because there was an ar- arcade in a small town near me and stuff like that. It was very tiny. But that was probably my biggest experience with arcades. Except for, like, the fighting game thing in Bulgaria. You know, the fighting game... Uh, Tawny place, which he talked about in the Last of Us series. In the Last uh, of Us go series, give it a watch. I did. Yeah, go watch, There's go watch the Last of Us. Too series. many episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if if you want to know what happens, um, uh, the dog dies. <laughs> no, oh, dude. Yeah, no. Is there even a dog in the Last of Us? I can't actually. Who knows? Remember. You gotta go watch it right now. Yeah, I actually can't. Like, we haven't even beat the game yet. Like, what no. the fuck? Um, but anyway, it's because. I, I don't know. I, I've 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 always wanted to have like that arcade experience, you know, because you never. Um, I'm a little bit jealous of like uh, people in the Asian market that would just be like, "Oh, dude, I'm fucking finished school. Let's go to the arcade." And I'm just like, oh, "Yeah, I want to do that. I want to be able to I just like that's so bad. Go with the squads of the arcade because like the only place the only places keeping them alive over here are the bar arcades, like yeah. the one we went to. Because they're yeah, the only NQ places that will... NQ64, right? NQ64, N- yeah. Yeah, NQ64. Great it's, place. They're the only them. places that will, like, keep that type of... Will make a profit from those, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, Ooh. it gets enough business because it's a bar. So they you get can like, take people uh, the who aren't into stuff, games. Yeah. And they can have yeah. a good time. Whereas, like, you can get the nerds to actually go drinking. Because you can be like, dude, there's arcade games and Nintendo 64s there. And they're like, bro. oh, shit, really? <laughs> bro, we gotta... We gotta play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, bro. That's They've got mean. a machine. I, 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 hated I went that out fucking like fucking machine though, dude. It's it, it sucked. <laughs> I went out and drank and do because there was games, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't drink I, that often. Yeah, NK six four was really really nice. I actually really enjoyed that. We don't have bars like that over here. In the nine, because there's a um, really good one in um, there's a really good one in Amsterdam. And we're not gonna get Which to go. could have gone to. <laughs> I know, because my brother went, and he said it was just super cool. You go, and you've got like you you can book like full PC setups. So we could have went and got the boys together, had a game of Apex, <laughs> <laughs> ordered some cocktails, and then went and played some arcade games or some shit. It would have been great, but no, right? It's it's I I don't know, man. It's it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting when uh, this situation is all over because we still have that hotel. So yeah. I guess we'll just go and see the most expensive country in Europe. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, because uh, that's that's the biggest thing. Because I, I I've only went there. I've only I've been there twice now. I've been there twice, and I really really liked it. The drinking culture is different in the Netherlands, dude. I feel like you'd like it because it's a bit more chill. Um, yeah. Then again, like English and Irish lads don't really understand how to chill. So it's like I had to chill myself out a little bit. And then I just realized, okay, I don't care. <laughs> but like, you know, once the two drinks in, you don't care. But like, it was very much a uh, just relaxed, just have a chat with people, which is weird in pubs, right? Because you don't expect, um, you expect the music to be so loud that you can't hear each other. And you're yeah. just yelling at each other. People. I was like, hey, I like your shirt. <laughs> what? I like your shirt. You like what? my shit? I like your shirt. My yeah. shit? <laughs> yeah. My shit. Yeah, it's just I don't know, man. It's it's a weird um it's a weird vibe. That's why I liked NQ64 quite a bit cuz when you're drinking in Ireland, it's either you go you go 
to get fucked up or you you why are you even here you know it's yeah. kind of um it's kind of like the round culture and stuff like that i'll buy you a drink and then we're all buying drinks and then you don't want to be the last guy who doesn't pay his round so six drinks in you're just like fuck <laughs> <laughs> But no, dude, that's that's the biggest thing. I don't know, man. We'll have to figure something out for the Netherlands and stuff because that'll yeah. be that'll be super duper interesting. Once but we can, I don't know. Fi- fucking get off of this damn island. Get off of this damn islands, dude. There's two of them, two baby two islands. Islands, we're stuck on them. Where would you like to live? Like, if you could live somewhere weird, where would you like to live? Weird. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a good question. I know it would be it's, weird, it's but tough, I like to live it? in Canada. I don't know why. Canada's like America light. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. I think a big thing about Canada is that they're so, you know, they've got their own identity, but they're the closest things to English people that we have, I guess, you know? Yeah. Because uh, Americans have their own breed of... um people right it's like it's it's a bit weird i don't know how to explain it but you when you're in canada just everybody's kind of like i don't know i don't know how to explain it but they they just don't seem that far off where americans feel like they're in a different country you know yeah yeah 100%. where uh, canadians i could be just like oh cool i like they're 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 one of us you know <laughs> yeah you guys european too <laughs> yeah you got a you got an irish cousin twice removed damn well, they have, they have the queen on their money. They do have the queen on their money. Don't so they? it'd feel like all about that. Yeah. <laughs> like Scott home. can't live without the queen. <laughs> can't live without the queen on the money. Dude, Dude I, go to, like, I go to America and I'm like, who's this bloke on my damn money? What does yeah, he he's... want? What's he doing here? <laughs> Fucking Hamilton. Who the fuck? <laughs> Wait, isn't there a bloke on English money as well? Isn't yeah. the World War II man in there as well? I Churchill? Winston Churchill? Or I haven't got any money on me, but there's someone on it. Hang on. Um, yeah, I think it's Winston British Churchill. Money. Who's on it? I can't remember the name. Dude, who's would on you the bank notes? Your face on money. Money. The people. Uh, that's. Who is the one on the five pound? What? Winston Churchill. Oh, I think yeah, it's Winston it Churchill. Dar- yeah, we used to have Darwin on it. Charles Darwin. Oh. Mm. On the tens, yeah. All right, who's on the new ones? Where's the new ones? Wasn't Charles Darwin, Darwin the guy that made Darwinism? Or at least a, somebody who was, like, related, I guess? I don't know. Hold I know he was the dude who, like, figured out, like, it, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, Charles Darwin was the dude who went to the, um... Oh, well, the, why well, can't I remember the, the name of the islands now? The... The 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 Charles Darwin. This is gonna fucking annoy me. Um, I've just I've just realized so so stupid. I was just like, it's Charles Darwin, the guy who made Darwinism. Of course he fucking did. It's named after the fucking bloke. Uh, Charles Darwin. <laughs> what the fuck are the name of the islands? What What do you mean? I'm confused. Well, because he went to some islands and observed the birds there. And saw that, like, they were all the same bird, but they'd all evolved differently, I believe it was. And he was sort of like, oh, evolution. (laughs) Evolution (laughs) is a thing. You know, like, things change because of... You know what's crazy about back in those times, right? You never wanted to be the first person to figure something out, right? Because wasn't the first person who discovered that the world was not flat? Like, didn't they burn him alive? Of course it is. Sorry. Didn't they, actually, didn't they burn him alive? The guy who the Probably. first ever man to say that the world wasn't flat. He so said the world was flat. The world wasn't flat. Because I, dude, that's the biggest thing with uh, old timey wimey stuff. You know what I mean? Do you, do you ever think that they're like kind of pissed off a little bit? Probably. They're just sitting there like I don't know what type of Fuck. thing. Maybe they've maybe they've uh, maybe they've reincarnated. Maybe they've gone to heaven. Maybe they're just in the ground, baby. I don't know. Do they ever sit there and go just like, "Yo, this is kind of fucked up. I was right. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck?" Dude, I feel like I would. I'd be. I'd be bitter. I'd be bitter. About my mom that, ringing me. You know? My mom's ringing me. Dude, bring your mom on the podcast. Mother, mother, stop. Oh, all right. Give me. Give me two seconds, dude. Let me. Just I'll give you two quick. seconds. Uh, yeah. 
rock on. <laughs> ah, do you want me to wait? Do you want me to just keep talking and I'll just hang on. yeah, just keep talking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, I missed it. Hang on. All right, go, go on. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so here's a little thing about like what? Okay, so guys, listen. I, I, oof, I I'm trying to go off on a tangent, but I can't think of anything right now, dude. I uh, usually very very good at picking up tangents, dude. Usually I'm like straight away like, whoa, aliens! I fuck an alien and then it just like you know and then it like goes off from there and then i start my own like my own side story of like me doing other things and then creating like i don't know man it's crazy but do you guys okay so guys okay here's one thing right why is tennis so like overly sexual I don't know what it is about this whole thing, okay? <laughs> like, it may be that I'm, like, a Whoa. pervert or something like that, but oh, whenever I, I see, like, male or female tennis, they're just like, ah! Uh, what uh, is happening? Uh, what have I missed? What uh, did I just walk And in it's on? just, like, it's so crazy, because, like, you sit there, and it's a very enjoyable sport to watch, but you do hear them go, like, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, you know, like, it's, it's a back-and-forth motion, you know? Um, and what is the deal with love? Why is love a thing? Okay, like, listen, I, they go, like, 15, then they go to, like, 30, and then they go to, like, 45, and then they go, love? What does that mean? Who made that up? What's his name? I want to figure it out. Why Why do you guys got to be so different? It's, like, literally one, two, three, four. Like, that's, you can just say one, two, three, four, and then we can get over it. You know, we can, like, finish this game and be just like, cool. But listen, I understand. You want to be different. That's that's pretty cool. Like, it doesn't basketball do the two and then the free shit? Like, whatever. It doesn't matter. But at least they use numbers. You guys use numbers as well from time to time. But then, like, sometimes out of nowhere, you're just like, love. And then... How am I supposed to feel when my my favorite tennis player, I don't know any tennis players, uh, go out there and they lose, but by the other the other person's just like, oh wow, they won. They won love. And I'm just like, wow, I have to be happy for them. How could I not be happy for them? They found love. You know, they've worked hard for that love. And yet, it's difficult because what if my favorite tennis player just decided hey like you know like i don't get love one person doesn't get love in this whole situation and that's horrifying do you not ever think like hey that's crazy why don't we both give them love you know what i'm saying why can't we change it to something else why don't we change it to like like off oh, like hot dog you know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody likes hot dogs. Some of the, some of us are vegan. I'm not vegan, but some of them are, right? And it's just kind of crazy when you think about it, right? If we changed it instead of it being love to being like hot dogs or something, something that everybody could get. Well, to be honest, if you some people really, really, really like hot dogs, so then it would like, oh, like then dogs. people would people would be left out, right? Exactly. That's the thing. I don't like hot dogs myself. That's like the one reason why I brought. Nah, not a big fan. Not a big fan of sausage good. meats. You know, even though I love the channel that turns random things into sausages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sausage, they were gonna. Dude, did you see the newest one? They made they made like a brain sausage recently. Fucking and hell. it made me vomit. It made me vomit so bad. <laughs> it made me feel so weird. Well, I didn't vom, but like I, I made the effort of, bleh, you know, like the, oh, the act of vomiting. That but reminds I didn't. me, dude. Yeah. I watched something last week with Owen. And, um, okay. Right. You know the Jackass boys, right? Uh, the good old boys from Jackass. I know the good old boys from Jackass, but, and I know uh, where this is going. <laughs> so Steve-O has a new comedy special. Really? Called uh, Gnarly. I don't know like how stand new up. it is. Yeah, well, kind of. It's it, okay. it's stand up like he's on stage in front of people, but it's it's not really like jokes. He's just telling stories from his life and making jokes about it. But um, that's cool. But he, and then on stage he does like a few stunts and stuff. Oh, and, wow. um, there's a few things in it that like are just ridiculous, and it's a really fun watch. I'm not gonna lie. Genuinely, if if anybody want uh, need, uh, if anybody wants to watch it, you go on stevo.com. I think you pay like a tenner to watch it. Oh really? Um, yeah, okay. yeah. But what happened? Like he does like all these things, and then one of the things he did in his room, well, he did he he started setting off explosives in his living room. Oh, in the video, and um, very nice. What he ends up doing is fucking putting 
gunpowder on the floor, lying in it, and then starts making fire angels in it. Or I can't remember what he calls them. Hell, I can't remember. But he just starts doing, you know, snow angels, but in gunpowder. And then someone okay. sets it on fire. Oh, okay. So it just burns up immediate on him. And then it starts showing that he's get he's like covered in blisters and shit the next day. And oh all my this fucking god! And then it goes through all this stuff of him popping them and going for it. Uh, it's, it's really grim. Why then, does he? Why does he do that? Like why? Ah! He has like he has does he have blister. like such a high pain tolerance that it doesn't hurt him anymore? Seems or like it. But yeah. he has this blister that goes from like past his elbow all the way up to like under his armpit. It's just this massive bag. Oh please and no. He, he holds it over a shot glass oh, oh, oh. and pops it into a shot glass. Oh, oh god, and I'm then getting visual. fucking drinks it. And it's the one thing out of the entire like show <laughs> where I had to not look at it. I was oh, like, my nah, fuck god. this. It made me so ill. Me and Owen were just going like, ah, ah, and then at the end, oh, man, I'm sorry, dude. I actually covered my eyes, and I was like, don't worry, dude. I was doing the fucking same thing. I, oh, no, that would generally, generally, I, I don't think I could do anything like that. Because, like, I had trouble watching the Filthy, fa- f- filthy, filthy Frank stuff as well. Mm. You know, mm. like, the, oh, what, what's called the ball hair cake and stuff like that and all oh, those, God. like, things. And I was no. like, I couldn't do it. I remember, I remember once they got, like, a fella to tattoo, like, PewDiePie's face on his ass or something? Well, or yeah, the he got the bro. I think he just got the word yeah. PewDiePie on. Um, oh, did he actually just get the word PewDiePie? On his t- What's his name now? Anything for views? It's that dude. Anything for views? Yeah, yeah. He's got such a good name for YouTube. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's their cold. Uh, their cold ones channel is actually really funny. Really, I, I haven't mm. watched cold ones yet. I haven't watched cold ones yet. I really, really do, good. but I I need to start it. I I was watching. I watch hot ones, and now I need to watch cold ones, dude. Exactly. Crazy. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, we were talking about this on The Last of Us, right? But like, okay. Say, say you had. Okay, so so St- a Stevo blister, right? Yeah, a Stevo blister. He popped it into a shot glass. He'll give you fifty k of you down that drink. I'd do it for fifty k. Yeah. I'd I'd do it as well. I will admit. Mm. You have to swallow it though. What if you throw up? You have to swallow that too. <laughs> you have to pick <laughs> it back up. <laughs> yeah, like knowing Steve O, he'd probably make you do it. <laughs> oh yeah. Like dude, he's like, his his voice it's weird to see how his voice has like died. Yeah. So so many years for his thing. Because you see the earlier years of Jackass, and then you see things like that, and he kind of talks like this now. <laughs> Well, it's because yeah, he had his um, crazy. What was it now? And his nitrous addiction. Nitrous. And that what just nitrous? Does it? It's those uh, whippets. Nitrous. It's like the stuff that you use to like. Uh, it's in spray cans and like whipped cream and stuff like that. You can. You what? How, you can get high on that. Yeah. Like, like how high? Dangerously high, like. Oh, it's one of the worst. Don't do it, kids. Don't do it. Have you never seen those little canisters? I I've seen them, but I just yeah. never thought to like them give them a good suck. Like, you know, Ooh, I'm in a good area. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right, that, that's those. So it's dude. weird because like you buy them for like if you're like a baker or like you know a chef and you need to do like some fancy whipped cream, you get these little canisters, or you buy them. To huff and get really high? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's fucking weird, I, dude. But that's so crazy, though. It's kind of like, uh, is it kind of like um, helium where it makes your voice higher as well? I don't think so. No, okay, so it just makes your voice go. I can't believe, like, I, I can't believe how many things people can get high on, you know? I, it's because everything's poisonous. <laughs> it's good to know, you know? Like, I don't even, I don't even think, like, it didn't, um... Isn't the only reason why um, spicy food is spicy? Isn't that like a poison to stop people from eating it? And then I think we so, yeah. just like went out of our way to be like, get that acquired taste of poison. We like it now. Yeah. <laughs> I would like a curry, please. And some rice. Yeah, it's kind of like it seeing. Pilo. It's kind of like seeing a really brightly colored frog and being like, your brain's meant to go, wow, 
that's going to be hella poisonous. But we've been changed to, ooh, pretty frog. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pet him. Don't people you know? lick frogs as well? And that makes them really Apparently. high. Because there's a whole yeah. few drama thing about it. So yeah, oh, yeah, it's going to be based uh, on something, right? Hypnosis frog or whatever. Hypnotoad. Hypnotoad. Wow, 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 wow. I... I, I don't think I'd do any of that stuff. Like, I, I, no. I think I'd stay away from those type of drugs. Like, like dude, I don't forever. even drink. Like, <laughs> dude, I'm surprised you don't drink. Like, I, I need a drink at the end of the week just to, uh, just to kind of fucking mellow out, you know, to do, have that reset. Yeah. I, I don't drink enough to make myself dead in the morning anymore, which I used to do every week to everything like when i used to go out to pubs and stuff like that with with people like it, it was go crash die the weekend's over go back to work on monday you know yeah but um now i, I don't do that as much anymore i only stopped this year though <laughs> i only stopped <laughs> this year so like i'm not like a samaritan or anything like that so now I just drink on the weekends, kind of slowly. I haven't been doing the hard stuff too much anymore, you know. I've been doing the stuff that I don't really like. I've been, enjo- I've been enjoying some whiskey recently. Oh, wow. And um, I don't like whiskey, right? I like yeah. the effect of what alcohol does to me, but I don't like it to, uh, like, how it tastes. But with vodka and stuff like that, just pour in some orange juice, baby. It, 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 it's good enough, you know? You nah. can't taste it anymore. I can still um, taste it. Really? I can't. Vodka I can't is one anymore. of those tastes that I will always taste, regardless of how much of something else is in it. I, I, I hate I, it. I, I, I can't. I can't taste vodka. Despise I can't it. taste vodka. What about gin and tonic? You gin and tonic? I love man? gin. Gin and tonic is my favorite drink. Really? I'm out. Yeah. Dude, you're fucking Scott from Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> oh yeah, GTs, baby. <laughs> GTs, baby. I don't know, man. I, I, I I'm fifty fifty on uh, gin and tonics. I, it depends on it depends on the night. Sometimes when you go to a pub and they make a gin and tonic, they make it so bad and you can't like mess up a gin and tonic, right? So yeah. like you wonder how they how they fuck it up somehow. Um. So that's why when when they when I see them in the background, they're just like, okay, yeah, we're gonna pour the alcohol in, and then like, uh, let's just let's just see let's just see where this goes. And just like, no, give me the soda, please. <laughs> give me the soda. I got this. Leave it to me. Um, I don't know, man. I've been drinking. I've been drinking whiskey every Friday recently, and it's it's been keeping my alcohol intake down by being just like. After free drinks, I'm just like, ooh, I'm really sore. <laughs> but I'm like, I've got that like buzz that I don't need to worry about anything anymore. Mm. I don't know, man. Like, I I really like vodka though. That's my that's my biggest problem. That's my kryptonite. Because I remember no, uh, when like, we were over in Manchester, so I was just like, guys, vodka soda, please. <laughs> and then you came back with free. Uh, or what are they called again? Uh, Jager bombs. Jager bombs. Jager bombs. Yeah. Then I knew I was, uh, I'm gone. What's your um? What's your drinks of choice other than uh, gin and tonic? Well, that's that's the thing. I don't I don't drink often anymore. Nah. But what when I did in drink, university, like in uni, yeah, I o- I'd <laughs> I'd always get like a vodka energy. That was the only time I couldn't taste. Wait, vodka, vodka and energy drinks. Yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, dude, that's like that's like really, really unhealthy for you, right? Yeah. You're not supposed to mix those. I don't yeah. know why, but apparently you're not. Like caffeine and well, um, you're not meant to mix like energy drink and Jägermeister, but that's what bars do. I I guess so, but why so. why why is like an Irish coffee okay, but like a um. Well, because like the amount, I think, I think the main that. main reason energy drinks aren't meant to be mixed with like alcohol is just because it can raise your heart rate, and especially while you're uh, inebriated, having a raised heart rate, and then say if you've got a heart condition or a dormant heart condition, you can true. just fucking die. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Now, didn't yeah. think about it. I mean, that's the main reason. That's why it's just so. a big warning on the bottle, being like, "Do not mix with energy drink," and then don't people are like, "Fuck, fuck you. up." <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so. I'd get that. Um, we. I don't have like a specific. I've started. You made me have a few cocktails, and I enjoyed. Cocktails are great. Tea. Oh, cocktails are so good. Long Island iced tea is all right. It's a bit sweet, but it's all right. They they made it sweet in the place that we went to. What's good, like spoons? 
yeah, spoons yeah. or something. Yeah, they made they made it like very sweet. I've got kind of a sweet tooth, so I ne- didn't necessarily mind, but it's not I supposed like to be stuff. that sweet. <laughs> I prefer. Dude, did I? Um, that's did why I... gin and tonic's my favorite because it's just crisp. Did I? No. Did I show you um, Moscow Mule? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you like Moscow Mule? I can't remember. It was very tasty. It's my favorite <laughs> drink. It's very tasty. I can't remember. It's like gin. Oh no, it's not gin. It's it's vodka, uh, ginger beer, uh, lime, and ice. I think that's it. I think that's yeah. it. I think there might be something else in there as well, but I don't know. But it's very tasty. Very very tasty. But actually, speaking of alcoholic beverages, yeah. What anime have you been watching? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great segue, dude! I'm so um, good at these. Like it's crazy. I've been watching that. Let me get it up because I always forget the name. Because you're watching it as well. Oh, on any um, list, it's listed as Tonikaku Kawaii. But Tonikaku Kawaii. I think it's like the abbreviation is uh, Tonikawa. Over the moon for you. Oh, over the moon for you. Yeah, which is uh, the one about the dude who's in a car accident. Well, he gets hit by a car, sorry. But he's saved by a woman. And then he <laughs> but is he though? Is he actually does he actually like get saved by her? First of all, he looks across <laughs> the road and sees this red haired lady and he's just like It's time for me to be Nasakun and go over and talk to him. But then there's just like a truck <laughs> that he runs. He would have died. Because dude the dude breaks both of his legs in this cra- in this like accident. But dude, then the he show could have easily runs... been an isekai, dude. Just it was so close. <laughs> he stands up and runs after her on two broken legs. Dude was saved by her. If he didn't have such a boner, the blood from his brain <laughs> got stored in his penis <laughs> as he got hit by that c- car. So he was fine. Then it all went back and he was all good and then ran across the road with two broken legs. I don't know. It's so yeah. stupid. Yeah, but dude, like, I'm vibing. Yeah. He propo- proposes to her and then like... She disappears then she's just, like Yeah, she's just like, yeah. Years. And then he's just like, oh my God, I'm so happy. But then she disappears until he like finishes high school and then just turns up. Which you would think this fucking like, this anime with this type of premise would be like a horror. You know, what if yeah. she was like, uh, she was like a yandere or something like that, right? But it's not. It's just really cute, and I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I don't get why it's so cute. It's very good. It's just it's... funny. It's not like, I don't know. It's not it's your classic like, like, will they hold hands ish? It's got no, a little they, bit. They that, skip but... that step, man. They skip that step. They go straight to marriage. That's my man, I mean. my man hasn't even given her a good peck on the cheek yet, dude. You know what I'm saying? He's just, he's going straight to holding hands in marriage, dude. That's, that's what you call a Chad right there. I'm just <laughs> really excited. I think, I think it's just going to get stupid because they're introduced. It's in the stage of introducing all the characters now. Yeah. So it's going to get just stupid. And Have I'm, you I'm been like, watching Higurashi no Niko no Ni remake? What is that? Higurashi. Higorashi no Niko uh, no Naku Koromi <laughs> Naku Koromi. Okay, I'm pronouncing it wrong. All right, okay. Let me let me get let me get you a link so that you know what it is. It's a beautiful show of uh, people just hanging out in the countryside, just living their lives, and nothing bad ever happens <laughs> to any of the characters. Uh, the, the main guy has kind of like no Naku a Koro Niko. Yeah, you know, you know the one, Higurashi no... Oh yeah, because nothing yeah. happens when the genre is drama, horror, mystery, psychological thriller. Yeah, no, right, exactly. The drama is b- between the relationships of the characters. How could you, how could you forget? Like, you know, it's just about, you know, people loving each other and having a good time. But this is the weird thing, because this is a show that's already out. This is a remake of a show. Uh-huh. And um, it's called When They Cry, by the way. If people maybe may, may know Higurashi When They Cry is the English uh, translation of the name. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting case because I'm not used to seeing a remake like this for an anime, right? It just doesn't. But we've had two remakes of animes that I can think of right now, which is Fruits Basket, and now this. Um, yeah. I'm glad this one got a remake because I, I very much really enjoyed the original show. 
but it needed like uh, you know, you know when you go back to old shows and stuff like that, and it's in four eighty p. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just like, damn, okay. I get that. But this show, this show is, uh, this show is very, 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 very good. Oh, I'll give that a watch. Um, yeah, I, you, you literally get what the full extent of the show is in the first minute of the show. Ah. They, they don't pull any punches with this one. They're just like, this is what's happening, and then you're just like. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Um it's a bit weird to already know what's going to happen, but them remaking the characters with like this incredibly cute art style. It's kind of overly cute, but it also adds to that creepy charm that it's got, right? Yeah, cuz it's, it's sort of like the complete opposite of what you'd expect from the visuals. Yeah, because the the, the mm. characters, when they smile, they do, like, that cat face. You know what I mean? They do the, mmm, you know? I, I don't know how to explain, but it's just, like, the cat face. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. the three think... to the right, you know? Like, you turn that free right-hand-sided, right? And then it's just like, wow, that's cool. But it's it's good. It's very, very good. I don't want to say too much more, but people should be mm. watching it because it is very good. I've it needed very, very something good. more horror. I haven't watched a horror anime in a while. Did you did you ever watch Shiki? No. Uh, Shiki's uh absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant horror anime. Shiki is about <laughs> people living in the countryside and nothing bad ever happens in the countryside. Um uh. So Shiki is Shiki is about um Well, you see, the biggest thing about Shiki is it doesn't really have main characters. It's just what's happening in the village. Uh, yeah. Because it, it introduces a character and then they're just like, and they're gone or something like that, right? They're just like, they're just like, okay, now this is this person's story. This is this person's story. Yada, 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 yada. Uh, I won't give up the general gist, but there is a mystery going on in the, in the, um, in the village. And you wonder to yourself, is it a pandemic? Is it something like that? What's going on in this village? And, People, people are just dying randomly in the village for no reason, and people are becoming listless as well before they die. So they're just like, they're just like, no, we don't need to go to the hospital, anything like that. But then they die, and you're just like, what the fuck? What's going on here? What's going on here? What? Jesus! Um, it's a very good show. You would very much enjoy it. I'm surprised you don't watch horror. Well, I've just shows. never found any that I've been like, ooh, because I've watched. They're not I think the last scary. one I watched was just um, interesting. Was it Corpse oh, Party? Was it called now? What? Was it Corpse Party? Yeah, that was it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you gotta watch Corpse Party. Yeah, I played the game, so I had to watch the anime. Yeah, it's... It, the anime is ten times more gruesome. Yeah, it was just you know? really fun to watch. Yeah, like, you don't think of how, like, ugly that game is when it's 2D sprites and stuff. And then when you see it, like, properly animated, you're just like, oh, that's what happened? He was taking pictures of... What? Ah! Oh no! <laughs> like, it's just, it's just crazy, man. Um, I don't know. There isn't really that many horror animes that I can think of. When I when I think about it, it's not really a genre which they've e- explored, except when they go into like the yandere stuff. You know? Yeah. That's considered that's considered horror, if that makes sense. Um, and but sometimes when they like do go into horror and stuff like that, and it's like it's like a spooky ghost, or it's like um, or it's like a Shinto god, or something like that. I'm kind of just like, well, could be scary, but not really scary. For- but then again, I don't really get scared unless I'm in the moment. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, well, I think um, that's what a lot of people are like. You have to be yeah. in it to truly get like the whole ooh spooked. Yeah. I am afraid. Because when when we're playing uh, Visage. I'm afraid because I don't have control over your character. <laughs> you know? When I see you looking at the fucking spooky ghost girl, and then I'm just like, no, please run. No, please. She's going to punch the fucking <laughs> child. <laughs> oh, man. So what about, um, is it wrong to try and pick up girls in the dungeon? Part three. Yeah. Or part no. four. No. No. I thought that would be a show you'd be into. I didn't finish the first season. Did you not? I got really bored. Ah, yeah, the first season kind of sucks. Second and third, though, are mwah, they're pretty good. Mm. <laughs> I actually really like them. But the first season's super, like, 
ah, it's like fantasy, boring shit. But then you get into like the second and third season gets into the idea of why the gods are there and who the gods are and stuff. And if you have a bit of like knowledge on who these gods are, you're just like, whoa, that's pretty fucking neat. I like that. I like that. That's cool. I like what they did there. And then <laughs> they have like a god wars and stuff like that. You know, it's just how it goes. Just uh, how just, it be. <laughs> gods, gods tend to give war to each other. What about... um? What about... Uh, I'm going to keep asking. It's going to keep being no. No, I know I know you watched this one. Fire Force. No, I'm behind on that. But what episode are you on? Give me the I'm gist. Just, I've just finished episode 14. And episode 14 is... Is... That, is... It's something, something crazy it, has to oh, happen yeah, it in ended certain with, area. Ended with the smoke man. Smoke Man! Oh, yeah, did you... Yeah, uh, Smoke so, Man's cool. So you saw that they brought back another character as well. The little kid, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they brought back yeah. the little kid, and do you like his kind of, like, uh, thing that happens to him, you know? Like, um, I, I don't know. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm talking code just in case I was going to say, I don't know what he can do yet. Okay, so you haven't seen... Okay, 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 okay. I can't, I can't talk about it anyway. But it yeah, is very I've, interesting. I, I, I've seen um, him getting his ass beat by Smoke Man, and now Shinra's fighting Smoke Man, and that's yeah. it. Like, I've not seen much else. There's nothing really else about that kid yet. But what, what about before that? Do you know anything about Joker? Oh, yeah, that, all that Joker stuff's happened, yeah. So you've Where seen Joker the Joker boss be, fight, yeah. Used to be under... He used to work under... No, work. He used to live under the church, didn't he? Yeah, he was like was the Inquisitor with, boys. with Eye Patch Man from first, from first Fire Force. Yeah, and dude, that's then, so weird. Yeah, it's crazy. Dude, it's so it's so weird when you look at Shinra's team and stuff like that, and it's so bright and colorful and shonen-y, and you're just like, oh, we're gonna save the world. But then we go back to the Joker situation. Then you see the truly dark experiences of what is going on behind the scenes. You know, like well, his fight with that dude from from the church was super cool. Well, right, like, yeah. Oh, I'll hit you with all the cards, and I knew it. The second he said how many cards there were, I was like, "He's leaving out one card. He's <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> the Joker. The, his uh, his um, his like ending animation like was just like a Persona Five like oh, yeah. outro, right? It just like sits there, and you're just like, "What the fuck? Why?" I was kind of just so waiting for it to go. Place, you never crazy. see it come back. That's cool. Uh, how much time are we on, by the way? Uh, we're coming up to an hour. We're coming up to an hour. We're about so we five probably, minutes um, left. Do you want to do five more minutes, or should we? Well, here? we can just chat, you know. What? So you we've got me. some stuff planned for the Halloweens. We've already started the Visage playthrough. Mm-hmm. We have another one we're filming on Sunday. So the day this goes up, do we still upload on Sundays? Or is it Saturdays? We we upload on Sunday now. Cool. We upload on Sundays, yeah. We upload so, yeah. on Sundays. The day this this episode, this podcast is up is the day we're gonna be we're gonna be recording another playthrough. And uh yeah, so Halloween like we've got bones on the internet in full swing now. Dude, we I should probably just say we... like what game we're gonna be recording so they know. Oh, yeah, we're gonna be... Well, I mean, we're, gonna be... like, we're doing I mean, amnesia, we're... like. Yeah, we're doing the new amnesia <laughs> game. You know what I mean? Like, dude, we don't have to be cryptic about the. I would have thought that would have been obvious to be fair. Really? You know, and... I mean, nah, the, not, not the with horror us. game came out like today. Yeah, but like our first, well, our ago. first like experience with boys in the internet, we played like a really like small indie horror game you know and then we played yeah. Rugrats <laughs> well now we're currently playing The Last of Us 2 the day it came out yeah dude I can't wait to get back to PS1 games man <laughs> dude same I, I don't want to play a AAA game again <laughs> <laughs> unless I know we could beat it in like two hours <laughs> yeah dude let's just play Apex on the channel can we do that oh god fuck that dude, can we play Apex I want to play Apex we can do an episode of Apex Ep- episode of Apex. Woo, well, I want to yeah. do an episode of Fortnite, so there you go. You can have Apex. We, I'll make us play Fortnite. Apex and Fortnite, guys. All right, guys, put put it in the comments. Which is better, Apex or Fortnite? Find Apex, out Apex which Legends is going to win. Dude, Apex but, um, Legends, dude. I'm a legend. But uh, Apex. Because we've already played a Battle Royale on the channel now. Have we? Yeah. Oh, Mario. 
Super Mario. Forgot, yeah, did that did that go up recently? It did. Yeah, it did. That's it did, been it up did, for did. six days. Six whole days. On the day of recording this. It's kind of crazy. Well, yeah, we're still we're still looking because we need we need another game to play once Halloween season's over. Because I know, I know Visage. I don't. Are we gonna, are we gonna finish Visage? Because we've got one chapter left. It's an hour, right? Like it's an hour well. of our time. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll finish Visage, and uh, we'll finish like. I want to say we'd finish Amnesia, but I don't know how long that's going to be. I think we'll finish Amnesia. I think we'll We can do. give it a good go. Like, to be honest, Amnesia seems like a game that we're both going to be, like, incorporated into. In, into yeah. yeah. So I feel like the we'll, thing is, it's like, we'll do it. I feel like we can beat anything now, because nothing's yeah. ever going to be as long as The Last of Us. Well, that's the thing, right? The Last of Us was, uh... <laughs> the Last of Us was, uh... It was Dude, the day that journey. we finished The Last of Us will be the day I get drunk again. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just be so both just super hammered on the last session of The oh, Last of Us? Dude, 100%. <laughs> that's the plan. That's the plan. Like, dude, I'm like, how would we even know it's the last session of The Last of Us? I have no we fucking idea. We just have to get idea. drunk in every session from now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's the only way we're going to get fucking through the fucking game. Uh, like, don't get me wrong. The game's okay. But it's just not it's good just for okay. Format. It's just okay. That's the problem. I just well, oh. no. I feel like the game would have hit way better because those first few sessions we were in, we were like, <laughs> yeah. "Fuck yes, this is amazing." If we'd stayed in that hype and played the game within like a few days, like you meant to, we would have been like, "That was incredible." But the fact that we've spanned it over fucking four months is have we actually the spanned it over four months. Oh my um, god! Let me see. When did we upload the first episode of? The Last of Us, uh, episode one, three months ago. The first no episode was uploaded way. on June 24th. Wow, dude, that's June crazy. 24th. I... It's now October. I can't believe that, man. That's so weird. People have probably yeah, already months. seen the ending of that game. It's four now, months. You know? that's on Saturday. Fucking crazy. I just I don't even know, man. Listen, <sighs> it's. I'm sure, I'm sure it's... Uh, I'm sure once we get to the end, we'll get our satisfaction out of it. But it's getting to watch, that point I'm gonna is watch rough. It. Like, when it's done, I'm going to watch. I'm going to put the playlist on when I'm playing games and stuff and just watch our entire playthrough from start to finish. <laughs> really? And see if I can hear our descent into hating <laughs> of the game. Because <laughs> I, 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 like, I feel like the second Ellie's story ended, me and you just checked out. <laughs> yeah. You like, because I, I, I don't know. Like, the, the biggest thing about like, uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna jump into halfway game spoilers just to get it out of my, out of my brain and just get my frustration out. Okay, so you have like an established story with our main characters, right? Every and they, yeah. and they go on a fucking revenge story, and it's fun and exciting, and we meet characters that we know and everything like that. We have, we have stakes involved. Um, but then they decide um, halfway through the game to be just like, okay, so that mission that she was on, she's just going to quit doing that mission and go home. But then they jump in and go just like, oh, wow, that lady's there to stop them from doing certain thing. And then you're just like, wow, that's, that's, that's interesting. That's super interesting. And then they're just like, 10 years earlier. And you're just yeah. like, I, I'm starting... I'm starting to understand why people didn't like it. It's it's tough because I, I, to I feel get I feel like here's the, here's the way that I would have presented the game. Um, not to have one person's side like played exclusively and then go to the other side. If we yeah, did like you swap back yeah, and forth. Yeah, like yeah. if you if you saw like say as soon as as soon as um sh- uh uh. Oh god, what's her name? Ellie. As soon as Ellie, Ellie like killed one of the people, it should have gone straight to the other person reacting to her killing somebody. I get I get why they've done it this way. It's so that you play through the whole first like chapter of Ellie. You get to, you get you finish Ellie's bit and then you start Abby's and it's the same timeline just from a different perspective. I get that. And then you get you do things where you you piece it together and you go, Oh shit, this is where this happens from that part. But the fact we took so long I've forgotten most of what we did as Ellie, so we're just playing yeah. through as Abby, and I don't remember any. Like, uh, you hear it in episodes where I go, "Oh, this is from that <laughs> part," and then we just I forget about them. It's like I don't know. I feel like they just padded the game out. Like the part we're up to right now, where we're off with these two random who gives a shit characters, 
in the fucking island of this cult, and I don't, I don't, I don't care. I want to see what's happening with Ellie, the character of the first game. You know, like the yeah. people I got invested for, not these random characters you just introduced to me like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, it just, it just seems like they ah, uh, did it would have been really cool to have um. Ellie be on the chase for a very long time. Maybe she like maybe instead of her like killing everybody straight away maybe they're a bit more competent than usual and they get away every single time right? But then you get a bit more story about them and you're just like the more that you progress on and uh, Ellie's on her like mission of revenge you're learning their stories and you're thinking oh I don't really want to kill these guys anymore you know because the yeah. start of the game you had this unrate rage and you're just like okay he's dead never gonna think about him again but then they were just like oh remember that character that you know you knew in that last like, bit he's he was a good guy and it's just like it's like i yeah. no no i because nice. no, it felt yeah. like the way they've killed off characters has just been random yeah There's like no sort of fun build up not in that it was just dead and i called it every time I was yeah like, i was like oh this part thingy dies Bunk, dead. You see, like, you know, they're, they're not. I'm even... not going to say who because that episode yeah. won't be out yet. Yeah, but they're, they're not even. It. <laughs> they're not even leaving it to chance either. They're they're not even leaving enough characters behind to tell to to tell the story what happens afterwards at all. You know. Yeah. Because what um, I would have liked is what you were saying before, where they did it. You know, around the same time. You know, like you play, you jump between yeah. characters back and forth. Because it would have been nice to see Ellie on the hunt for Abby and you play as both. So it's like you're going in a certain direction as Abby and you see uh, uh, Ellie, sorry. You see Ellie going like, oh, we're going to head to this building. And then it turns out Abby was there. Yeah. So on your way there, it cuts to you playing as Abby and it's you leaving that area, going a different direction while Ellie's still going in the same direction as you set, but now you're going different paths and you're like, oh shit. And then you get to do this story of like how these two characters don't interact, but they have the same plot. You know what I mean? They're so Whereas close it together. feel like that. Yeah. Because as well as where Abby is, Abby's in like a completely different area, which is nowhere near anywhere that we've explored before in the section yeah. that we are in. And you're just like, Okay, if Ellie was going on a rampage trying to find her, well, of course she wouldn't find her on Cannibal Island. Like, what the mm. fuck? Like, like you know, it's just uh, it's just one of those things where, yeah. Uh, you know, also, the the thing that I don't really understand as well is why everybody like wants to kill Abby in her own faction as well. I don't she was... really understand. I don't know. Right, it, it, it doesn't. It's not explained well. It's not explained. I don't get it. I don't. Well, she get went it. MIA. She did something dumb. All right, you know what, dude? Know, let's Before we go crazy, end let's end podcast. the episode. I really need to poo. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you guys so much for listening slash watching yeah. slash anything like that. We really appreciate it. We if you'd do. like to it support us, epic. you can subscribe to the channel. You can follow us on Twitter. Uh, we have our own Twitters, all that type of stuff, or Instagram or anything like that. Or if you want to be extra cheeky, you could donate to our Patreon. But that's only if you want to, though. No, not necessary. Yeah, it's like a tip jar, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> we'll still keep doing this anyway. But if you want to support us more often, you can, and you can do whatever you want. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening, all that type of stuff. We'll see you guys again another time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Known for generations through the Hanley family. Yo, dude, let's shit together. <laughs> yeah, dude, let's do it. Let's FaceTime shit. Let's go.